Hey guys, welcome to Next Toots. And uh, as you can see, I changed some things around here. Uh, we're moving stuff around at the house because we're gonna have a kid. And so we're really excited. I'm really excited. And so we're just kind of moving some stuff around here and, you know, just having <laughs> everything taken care of. So what we're gonna be doing today is I just wanna show you guys a, a way to model a robot head. And so I'm gonna show you guys a picture and I'm gonna be showing you guys also just step-by-step -step how to model it. So let's get started. All right, so here we are in Blender and what I'll be working on is just focusing on blocking out these pieces here. And to get started, let's grab this cube right here and we're going to kind of shape it into what we want. So what I'm thinking right now is a square with a rounded off head at the top and then kind of extruding out a piece right there kind of for little goggle eyes so let's grab this square right here i'm going to just kind of get started on it pressing g to kind of like move around in space and let's take a look at this i think we can squish this kind of like so just a tad bit and I think that will work. And then what we'll do here is we'll go into edit mode and just kind of start blocking out the shapes that we want. And go to face select. All right, there we go. And then I'll just start extruding. And let's go, well, let's say around here. Yeah, looks pretty good. And then half of that, kind of looking at this piece right here in I think right there would probably be the halfway mark. Let's go into the extrusion right here. All right. And you know what? Let's bring that down a little bit more. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, that works. That was pretty good. And then what we could do here is we can start beveling out some of these pieces. So I'm going to grab this edge right here. Sorry, let me do that real quick. All right, there we go. Let me grab that edge right there and let me bevel this with control B. And I kind of want to take it to the halfway point. Let's say around there. And let's add, oh, accidentally <laughs> press something there. Let's put it around here and let's give it about that many bevels. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Let me go over here. And I think we can make this less, maybe four. Let's see, let me do that again. Let's choose around there. There we go. Cause it does have kind of an odd little curve in the back. So it definitely looks something like this. In fact, I think we can pull this back a little bit. Let me go there and turn on X-ray and then move this back just a tiny amount. Let's say like around there. All right. And then from here, in fact, we could probably push all of these back as well like that. All right. That looks pretty good. And then we can start pushing in the pieces right here. Let's. Let's delete this. I'm not to delete that. Let's just go ahead with it. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to inset, pressing I, and I'll choose, let's say around there. It's pretty good. All right, let's see. I think what we'll do from here, we'll inset these again. Well, the control, I'm just going to kind of squeeze it in. And then I'll know, I know what I'll do. Let's just delete all these right here. There we go. And then what we can do with this, I'm just going to press one to switch over to the vertex mode. And in fact, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to just make a loop cut right here. Delete one side of the faces. Let me turn on X-ray. And let's just set a mirror to this because we're going to be working a lot doing both sides if we don't need to. So there we go. Let's add a modifier mirror and let's change it from X to Y. 
There we go. Now let's go in here really quick and just fix this. So I can add a loop cut. Let's see, where can I add it? I'll just add it like around here. And then let me just scale on the Y axis until this flattens out a little bit better. There we go. Just pressing S to scale and Y to lock it in the Y axis. And then let's put it around here. Now I'm jumping back into vertex mode. I'm just going to merge these right here. And in fact, I should probably turn on toggle X ray because it doesn't work well with stacking them like that. All right. So those are there. Let's go to Mesh, Merge, Center. So the same thing on this side over here. So I'm going to pull this up, then grab the other one, and then I'm going to press M just to shortcut for Merge to Last. There we go. And then let's kind of look at what we got here. Let's see. I know what we'll do. We'll just merge all these right there. And since merging was the last thing I did, I'll just press shift R to repeat the last process. And we'll push this back to say around there. Deselect all these right here, press shift, oh, <laughs> not shift R because I just did the movement tool. There we go. And then do the same thing on this right there. And then two, while in edit mode switches to edge select, I'm gonna dissolve this edge. And we could even dissolve this one and then make another loop cut, kind of aligning it, let's say around there. I'm just going to merge these as well, pressing J to connect the path. That looks pretty good. Let me just line this up again a little bit better. Let's see, there we go, perfect. Okay, so now we have that stuff done. Let's just bridge this edge right here. Okay, so they're selected edge and then we will bridge awesome there you go so we got the first part done and then we can get started working on the rest of this head so the more i look at this the more i kind of notice that it has a bit of a kind of a bump right here so what do i mean by that let me just show you really quick i think what we need to do with this is kind of scale it so let me grab the scale tool and I'm going to scale it by locking the Y axis like so. And just a tiny bit. It's not even that much like that. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to press R, control R to make that loop again. And then we'll do the same thing, kind of following that path. There we go. And we need to do the same with this as well. Come on, there we go. Right, let me just fix this one over here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of giving the head a curve so that it has a bit more character to it. All right, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Awesome. All right, so next what we can do is start beveling out some of these pieces. I think I'm gonna start with these edges right here. And let's take a look at how this will turn out. So let's grab these. All right, I'm gonna grab these over here as well. Okay, so now let's bevel this out. And let's bevel it, let's say to around here. Ah, I see, we have another little problem right here. Let me try adding that. It's a little better, but I think we can work better than that. Let's do this really quick, connect this path. All right, I think that'll work. Let me just test it really quick. Yes, there we go. So that is what we wanted. I just need to fix the apply transforms really quick. So we go to object, apply, all transforms, and then we do it again. And 
when we go back into the edit mode, the last selections we have will kind of stay there. And that helps us out with making this. Let's add, let's see. You know, let's just add the bevel here as well, now that we're on it. Okay, there we go. Now let's add a bevel here while we're at it, what the heck. All right, there we go. Let's see. That looks closer to what I want, but I think this one actually doesn't need to be beveled with this because I'll show you in a second why. So I'm going to bevel this separately. That's going to create kind of a ramp on kind of you see here. And then what we're going to do is grab these edges right here, move them up like that. And then we're going to grab these ones that we just made and also move them up. And now let's just kind of move them all together like this until we get a nice little kind of angle. There we go. And I'm going to move these up as long as, as long as well. All right, there we go. And move this one slightly higher. And then last but not least, this one a little bit higher up. All right, that's looking pretty close. So let's get to working on the kind of, I'd say it's a mohawk, but it's not really. So let's get to working on that. And then we'll start making the eyes. So let's take a look. I think what we can do is add a loop cut right here. And then pressing three to go to face select. I'm going to make the loop selection right here until it reaches right, I want to say right around there, right before it starts going down all the way. We'll do the same on the other side and we'll make an inset face. Hold the control after pressing I for inset face. I'm just going to have it extrude outward like this. And let's see. This one we actually don't need. So we can do the same on this side as well. It actually goes down a little bit too much. So we'll control again. There we go. That's what we wanted. Let's see. Is that about right? Yeah. Let's make it a little bit thicker. There we go. A little too thick. <laughs> All right, there we go. Perfect. Let's put it around there. And then let's turn off the mirror modifier because we need to delete these right here. And let's delete this one and this one right over here. All right, there we go. Delete faces and then make the loop selection. Delete these as well. And then let's turn back on that modifier. Let's go to edge select, select this whole loop right here. And let's just do that same kind of flattening thing that we were doing. All right, there we go. Do it a few times. And then I need to snap this onto the grid. So when you're snapping something to a grid, it's usually going to be increment and you want to turn off absolute grid snap. So once we do that, perfect. If you can tell, let me just zoom in really quick. Control Z. It wasn't aligned perfectly. And with the snapping on, just even just nudging it, fixed it entirely. So there we go. And if I just leave edit mode, there you go. We got a nice front piece right here so far. And I think even if we wanted to, we could move this actually further out. Let's grab these faces really quick. Deselect that one right there and the one back there. And let's move this further out. That's about good. Yeah, that's about good. So the next thing I'm going to do is just, I'm going to adjust these edges really quick. So let's move this up because the kind of part right here is actually pretty flat. Let's move this further out and then this one even further out. There we go. Let's grab the floating red, floating red, floating green 
cube or a square right here just to adjust this right here. And let's grab this one right here and bring it up even higher. Let's push this back. And then we can grab both or not both all three of these and then just slant it down ever so slightly. There we go. And already it's starting to look more like the thing we're working on. So let's now work on the eyes. So what we can do here is we can go to object mode and then we can go over to the add cube. But instead of adding a cube, what we're going to do is add a cylinder. Now, the nice thing about this tool, instead of coming up here to the add little drop down right here, is it lets us kind of decide where on our object. So if we wanted to add a cylinder here, holding shift, we can make it all uniform. And then we just stretch it out like that. So we can give it little kind of like ears pointing out. But what we're going to be doing instead is we're going to be making an eye, let's say around here. And notice how I selected first that area up there. So it's making it basically uniform to the area right there. It pushes out a little bit, but that's fine. Let's move it. And in fact, let's kind of bring it back further. And let's move it a little bit more this way. It's a little off actually. Let's align this a little bit better. There we go. Uh, let's put it around there and let's go into the X axis, bring it a little bit closer. There we go to there. Let's go to the Y axis. Just to double check. And let's, there we go. Perfect. All right, let's go into perspective view. And this piece looks, let's see, let's just scale it on the red axis this time, the red floating square this time. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, now let's mirror this. There we go. And let's flip it on the Y axis. So now what we just need to make sure is we move this origin point of the sphere over to the cursor. And to do that, all we have to do is set origin, origin to cursor, and there we go. But admittedly, I was wrong on the mirroring. It was the actually the x-axis. So there we go. Now, what we can do from here is start modeling the eye in a little bit. So let's go into edit mode. And then let's grab the face right here. And let's see. Let me take a quick look at this. So I think what we can do, let's see, let's do a bunch of insets because those are always fun for me. Let's go one inset right, right around there. Make another one, pressing I, going pretty deep in, at least I think it should go pretty deep in like so, and then making another inset like that. And then this one, push it outward like that. There we go. And then this face itself, I think we can bevel until pupils are kind of like that. All right. That looks pretty good. Now, the only thing we need to take care of next is the kind of little square between the eyes. And we'll do that right now. So let's go into object mode, select this piece. And with this face selected, I'm just going to duplicate shift D. There we go. Pressing Z, I'm going to lock that into the Z axis. And yeah, all right, let's do this. We're going to just extrude upward. And pressing Z, I'm going to lock into global Z axis instead of the Z that it was giving me. And let's see. Let me hide the eyes really quick and lock this into Y axis. I think what I want to do is kind of have the flow follow, let's say around here. Let's grab this one right there go back into the Y axis. And, oh, control Z, I accidentally let go of that. Let's do something like this. Do something like that, just to make it a little bit more interesting. 
And then I think from here, what we can do is just flatten this right here. So I'm pressing scale, Z axis, and I'm just going to move it inward a few times. Oh, that's the X axis, not the Z axis. There we go. And I think that's pretty good. So now what we need to do is just go over to the cylinders and space them out a little bit more. So I'm going to do that in edit mode. I'm going to press L on the cylinder and then just push it outward until it's just about touching the little square that we made right here. All right, there we go. And then let's take a look at it mode. Okay. And then we just need to, when we apply the mirror, we just need to fix this to move it over to the side, but we'll leave it there for now. You can tell it's kind of clipping in there. But everything looks everything else looks pretty good. So let's get on to making the other part of this head right there. So I'll just make another cube and we're gonna kind of follow the shape of this, but the I want to say the back jaw of this it, this whole part right here looks like a jaw. It's gonna maybe end say like around here. Yeah, I think that's about right. So let's go add a cube. Add mesh cube. Let's move this, kind of line it up so that we can get started. And let's bring it back a little bit and then let's move it down until, let's see. Let's move it to around, let's move it to around there. And let's go into edit mode. There we go. Select this face and bring it up to say, Let's say around there. And then let's go over here, bring this up. I'm gonna go to the Z axis really quick. And then bring that to around there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to put a loop right here and then push these right here back. I'm gonna go up to the Z view and orthographic. I'm gonna line this up with, let's say around there. And the reason is, is because I'm going to add some bevels here with this loop so that I align better with the kind of flow that we have right here already. That way it stays consistent with the, what we already made. Now let me bevel and we only need three. Let's add it to around there. Let's check this one right here. Let's see. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Turn on x-ray. Let me grab this one right here. Go back into the orthographic. Let's see. There we go. Let me grab these edges right there. All right. That looks better. There we go. This is the tiny adjustment. And then from here, what we can do, we'll make a cut right around here. And this will kind of line up with the little area right here. It's not going to line up entirely. If you can tell, it kind of lines up halfway with this square. So instead of being all the way back here, it goes further up a little bit. And then it goes kind of curving in like how we have it right now. So let's do this. Let's go into face select, grab these faces right here, and let's extrude them. And it's pretty close, I'd say around there. And then what we can do from here is then make another cut right here. Press right click to kind of just cancel the movement that we just made. And again on this side. And then we're going to grab these faces right here. and. I think we'll inset them. So I'm going to grab all these right here. Press I. And then just extrude them by their normals. Let's see. That's pretty good. Let's put it there. And then in here, what we're going to do is make another set of loop cuts. And notice how I'm kind of following that same line throughout that design. So that's again, the same thing I'm doing. 
So let's go again to the face select and let's choose these faces right here. Let's do inset one more time, only control. And we're kind of making a nice little layer stack with our object. And with that, I think we got a good piece right there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. So the last thing before we kind of finish and start beveling this is just adding that little cut back there. Let's add a loop cut. Let's kind of bevel this or extrude this up a little bit. Excuse me. All right. There. Select that and then holding shift control. I'm going to go all the way over there and it's going to connect. Press E to extrude. And then, you know what? Let's just grab all these faces right here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let's grab that. Let's grab these. Make it a little bit thicker, just so that it looks a little bit chunkier in 3D. And then I think with this, we can start doing is beveling this guy out. So let's see, where do I want to bevel him first? Let's start with, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm in face mode. Let's bevel this one out. Yeah, I'll start with that one. So we'll bevel this and then the bottom pieces out. Just going around here. There we go. Awesome. So there we go. We got those. And then what we can do now is bevel them. There we go. We got a little bit of artifacting going on here, but that's fine. We'll take care of it in a second. All right, let's fix this bevel really quick because I want this one to go all the way down there. There we go. All right, perfect. And then let's just fix this up and then we'll move on to doing the rest of the beveling. Let's go over here, bring this over. We can bring this inward like that and we kind of start fixing up the the bevels we made. So let me just press M last merge. And let's just kind of do that for these pieces here as well. All right, that's pretty good. And let's do the same with this one, merge last. And then I'm going to go into X-ray. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to press M merge by distance. And then I'm just going to increase that by a bit and there you go we removed nine vertices so that lets you know that we did it and let me untoggle x-ray all right so there we go we're getting pretty close all right so i'll be going over the next part in the next video but i just wanted to show you guys uh some just cool model modeling in blender and i want to just do this for the next video as well and we'll get into more of the detailing as we go on and so i'll see you guys in the next video uh, thanks for watching and i'll be making another one video on thursday so we can follow up on what we're doing here so thanks guys uh don't forget to like and subscribe our channel it really helps us out and just put in the comments what you want to see me do um if you want to see me you know make some kind of glowing eyes right here as we kind of get along into working on this guy right here. So yeah, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.